our eBay store has completely blown up and our sales going crazy. Welcome to Flippin' and Punch, and today's Wednesday. I wasn't planning on filming a video today, but man, our eBay store has completely blown up. On Monday, we did $2,700 in sales, and it has not stopped since then. So today we're gonna pull some orders and talk to you about this massive sale that we had. This one sale was over $2,000. We had this one sale, and I literally thought my phone broke, and I thought I had a glitch on eBay because all I heard was cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's pull this first order. All right, first order we sold is an Xbox One video game. Sniper Contracts. Picked this up at a recent yard sale. I think I paid like maybe a buck, right around a buck for it. Had it listed for like $7.99. Someone sent me an offer for six bucks and I accepted. So we had six bucks plus shipping. All right, next time we sold, we sold a couple of book lots. One thing I like to do when I go to yard sales, if I find a similar series and they're super cheap, I'll pick them up. Never, had no idea what this was. This is Grace Livingston Hill. But they had a whole box of these. They wanted five bucks for a yard sale. Had it listed for like $39.99. Someone sent me an offer for 25 bucks. I took it. We still know the book a lot. I picked this up, especially if you guys are at yard sales and you guys see children book series and there's multiple books and they're super cheap. Might want to pick them up. Definitely worth it, especially if they're like Disney. This is vintage. This is Walt Disney's Young Reader's Library. And it has pretty much one through 19 here. We had that listed for $39.99. We sent an offer for $29.99 and the buyer accepted. Super happy with that. I had the Winnie the Pooh one. I think I sold that one. I don't know. I sold that one like a week after I pur purchased it. $34 or $40 bucks for the Winnie the Pooh one. Paid $20 bucks total for both book sets. So super happy with that. Man, it's absolutely a beautiful day out here right now. So had to grab a couple items from the storage facility here. Uh, the first one was this one right here. This is a John Force. This is a Mustang. Got this with Papa Punch in when we were uh, up in the villages trying to hit up a community sale. Had it listed for $34.99. Someone sent me an offer for $22 and I accepted. Got $22 plus shipping for that. And this next time I actually bought when I was at the Browns. Junk in the trunk. It's like a one, it's like a once in a month like flea market that's the setup. Went there with ADH Dave. These are super cool. Uh, from 1991, this is when they were the Super Bowl champs. Had this listed for $34.99. Someone sent me an offer for $25 bucks and I accepted. So $25 bucks plus shipping. And next one we sold was a Marvel Dax action figure from Guardians of the Galaxy. Picked this up at Community Yard Sale. I bought when I bought an entire table. Table is filled with like Funko Pops, action figures, all kind of stuff. We sold one item off that table for like $45, bucks, which is a, a Funko Pop. And we already made our money back on the rest of the stuff. This item was a little beat up. Had this figure listed for $59.99. Someone sent me an offer for $45, for 45 bucks, and I accepted. So we have $45 plus shipping for that. It never fails. Anytime I'm trying to film, I have one of the pets drinking water out of there, and I swear it's a conspiracy against me. I got a lot of messages asking me when I'm gonna post up my garage sale. I gotta edit the footage. I got, got a busy weekend here ahead of me, so I'm gonna try to get out next week. I originally was gonna put in our, our picking and punching channel, but since I talked about it so much in this channel, I decided I'm gonna put the footage on this channel so you guys can see the actual yard sale, kind of what we went through, what we were selling, how much we were selling it for, See what Mrs. Punchin just was giving away <laughs> a long time, so. But in our last video, I talked about Papa Punchin went to the auction house when I was at the local dentist, and I showed you guys that pin book that uh, he picked up for me. Well, I actually started listing those pins on eBay, and we already sold two already. We sold both these. These are Figment collection pins. Super cool, super nice ones. Originally priced $17.99. Had it listed on eBay for $59.99. I had, you know, a quantity of two. I get, received an offer for $40 bucks within the first like five minutes it was listed. Waited about 24 hours to accept the offer. Then they sent me an offer in the second one and I accepted. So both those pins for $80. We ended up buying about 60 Disney pins, mostly Lilo and Stitch, for about 200 bucks. Those two pins already have, have got back about 35 to 40% of our money already. So I'm super pumped about that. I love getting a fast turnaround and getting that money back that you put out right away. It's such a beautiful day, man. I've been working outside here, right out of the garage, which is nice. We sold this one right here, this Max Hatter. It's vintage. I mean, it's probably the coolest looking box ever. I mean, look at this thing. I had it listed for $39.99. Someone sent me an offer for $25 bucks and I accepted. That came from actually Papa Punchin. I don't know, I gave him maybe five, 10 bucks for it. <laughs> Somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah, he just had sitting around and I, 
I will tell you, Papa Punchin has a lot of really cool vintage items. We actually sold two action figures. This one did not sell for much. This is Kobe Kingston. This is from the WWE. Man, I think we have, I think we got three bucks for that. Like, yeah, not good. And this is the Riddler from the new Batman movie. I really enjoyed the Riddler character in the new Batman movie. Not the cartoonish, like Jim Carrey or the cartoonish one from like the 60s with Adam West where it had like the uh, question marks all over him. I thought it was a cool concept, kind of how they portrayed him. The movie was eh, okay. But I, I really like making the uh, Riddler more realistic. So that was kind of a cool thing. But I had this listed for $11.99. Someone sent me an offer for eight bucks and we accepted. So $8 plus shipping for that. So I got an issue. I sold a Funko Pop for Dragon Ball Z. It's not my Funko Pop container. What I'm thinking may have happened at the yard sale. I had a local reseller in the area, came up. He's a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. So I sent him a picture the night before of what I had. And he said that, yeah, put them all aside. He wanted to buy them all. So I wonder if I accidentally put that Funko Pop that was supposed to be on eBay in his pile and sold it to him. Cause this Funko Pop sold for 40 bucks. And I gave him a really good deal on all those Funko Pops. So I really hope I didn't accidentally put it in there. All right, so let's talk about this big sale. So Monday night, me and my stepson were sitting there watching Monday at Raw and I thought my eBay app or my phone was glitching. Cause all I heard was cha-ching, 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 cha-ching for like 10 seconds straight. Picked up my phone and looked. So they bought 17 Department 56 Disney figures for like houses and figurines and other Christmas ones for I think with shipping came out to $2,044. I could not believe it. What a great day to have. Um, so that's why we're shipping out like 40 items today. So I'm actually really worried about shipping these because I, I messaged a buyer, let them know I'm gonna ship in multiple boxes. The Parker 56 do come wrapped in styrofoam, but you gotta be very careful with them. The newer releases, the styrofoam is done really crappy. It's they, they did cheap out compared to the older ones. So I'm gonna stick like bubble wrap and other stuff in there to just try to make sure they don't move at all. So yeah, I'm gonna be really nervous because I'm assuming they're going to, Cal I think they're going to California too. So which is the farthest place from where I'm at. I'm in Florida. Hopefully it's not a recipe for disaster, knock on wood. So wish me luck with these, but I'll show you which ones we're selling here in a little bit. I'm gonna pull all those at the end here because I gotta, I gotta move some boxes to get all those pulled out. But we did sell Ninja Turtle figure. So this next item is really near dear to my heart. Anytime I sell anything Ghostbusters or Ninja Turtles or pro wrestling, I mean, that's what I grew up in my childhood. Those are the things that mean the most to me. You know, I grew up in the 80s, in late 80s, early 90s. I would love to hear what you guys keep near dear into your heart from your childhood. Now, this is a new release. I did pick this up at the flea market. I paid $90 for a massive lot of figures. I already sold the other Ninja Turtles figures for $235. Bucks. So I'm well into the profits on these. Um, this one right here, we ended up selling for $49.99 plus shipping. Great pickup, man. I mean, I was super, I was actually really surprised that these were had that much value. So if you guys do see this Mystic Fury, Ninja Turtles, pick them up because they hold really good value. I can't even say what I just sold <laughs> without laughing. God, I'm, I'm like a 12 year old boy. I sold some nipple shields. Went to yard sale, they had a whole stack of these just sitting there. I ended up throwing in and I think I, I probably got it for like a buck or two. So I list them on eBay quantity of like 10 for like 4.99 plus shipping. And someone sent me an offer for 3.99 I accepted. So 3.99 plus shipping. Normally I wouldn't sell something that cheap, but since there was like a huge lot of them and it's one listing, I could put them up and they're so easy to ship. I made an exception to it. All right, we sold another pair of shoes. This is from that big Reebok buy that I did a while back. These are the Reebok shoes that we sold. I bought a massive lot, I think like 10 or 12 pairs for th 35 bucks. I think I had like $3.50 per pair. Had it listed for $24.99. Someone sent me an offer for 15 bucks. They've been up for a couple months. Didn't really have much interest in them, so I took it. So I got 15 bucks plus shipping on those. I'm trying to get all this stuff shipped out here real fast because I gotta get prepared for a whatnot tonight. By the time you guys see this, the whatnot would already have passed, but me and Mrs. Punchin are going to be doing a giveaway show for to get back to our viewers. We just hit 4,000 followers on whatnot. Every time we hit another thousand, we do a giveaway show for an hour. Everything is free, free shipping, free merchandise. So it's our way to get back to you guys. You guys always hear me plugging whatnot in my shows. So, you know, I think it's only fair for me to give back to the community that helps and supports us. I'm very transparent on this channel. I talk about the good, the bad, the ugly on here. I don't really talk about bad buys because I honestly, I don't really have a lot of bad buys. I still get some occasionally here and there. This though was not a good buy. I sold a, a lot of Legos. This is a Star Wars set, as you can see right there. Came to a yard sale and they had all these Lego set up on the table there, Star Wars. I sold Star Wars Legos in the past. They were the first releases and I made an absolute killing. I'm talking like eight, 900 bucks for some of the sets. They're brand new in box. These are open and loose, but they're put together. 
when I'm at a yard sale, I will buy Legos if they're put together. What I do is I take a photo of them. I take my, I literally put them on the table, take photos of all the sides of them like I would for my eBay listings. And then I'll put them in a, a separate bag each because pieces will fall off when you transport them and stuff like that. At least you have pictures of what it looks like. So if you need to put it back together when you get home, or you can just use those pictures to list online, which I would, what I normally do. I thought these were going to be a lot more valuable than what they were. Newer releases, not the, the original ones I sold in the past, which I didn't put two and two together at that time. And unfortunately, I got excited. I made a deal. Spent like probably like two or three hundred bucks on all these Legos there. And I'll probably just break even on them if I'm lucky. So I've just been selling them off when they're laying around here and there. Not the best thing, but hey, it happens. That's how we all learn. But I end up, I think I had this listed for $29.99. Someone sent me an offer for 25 bucks. And I accepted. So got $25 plus shipping for that. And I'm assuming you guys probably want an update on Operation CSO. Still underway. We are going to tackle this garage here over the next week. And I'll give you guys an update, show you kind of what it looks like. We were able to clear out space in our storage facility there. So we're going to move some stuff in the garage over there. So that way we have a, a better area to walk in. We still have a ton of stuff left over from the garage sale. And we donated a ton of stuff at the, from the garage sale. So I did put a little dent to it. Not as big as I wanted, but hey, it's, it was a giant step in the right direction for us. So. All right, so we just got done doing a whatnot. We did our free show to give back to the community. Me and Mrs. Punchin, we went on about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. And we gave away a bunch of shirts toys plushies i don't know a bunch of other items but one thing that we did do is i remember operation cso trying to clear shit out and i had this giant boot in my office for like the last like two years and it's just time to go look at the size of this thing it's a giant ugg boot look there's mr jack and look at the boot next to mr jack it's massive i decided to put it up on whatnot it's literally the only auction that we ran start at one dollar so for 59 dollars plus shipping i'm sad but i'm also happy to see it go so hopefully it goes to a good home thank you for purchasing that i do appreciate you hopefully it's going to fold down and fit into a priority mailbox but i just realized that the top, bottom of that boot is so big it's probably not going to i mean look at this bottom of this thing yeah it's not gonna be big enough i have to get a different box either way super cool piece all right it's thursday i'm gonna finish packing up these orders though i have, still haven't got done We've been so far behind with everything. I just finished all the whatnot orders from last night. We did that free show. We're gonna talk about this major, major, big sale I had. I need to pack it up all my orders today because tomorrow, Friday, I'm leaving to go to the flea across Florida. It's like a 250 mile sail through the top part of Florida from like Jacksonville to Pensacola. I'm gonna go meet up with ADH Dave and then Death Pile Picker. I'm gonna pick Friday and Saturday and then come back Saturday night. What time you guys see this, I'll already be back. Let's talk about this big sale. I told you guys my phone just kept going off. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. We sold 17 Department 56 Disney pieces. Ironically, I'm wearing the Trash Cash shirt right now, but when I went to the Trash Cash Bash in January, I went yard sailing at like 11 o'clock. I found all these at a garage sale. I, have, I already pulled some of them already here, so you guys can kind of see. These are Department 56. These are special release for Disney. The ones in the red box, people don't know these are actually sears exclusives now i paid 50 percent whatever the mark whatever the price was so this is 40 bucks i paid 20 bucks for this one uh we sold this one for 275 dollars pluto's pet shop minnie's dress shop i think we got 219 dollars for that one this one right here which is winnie the pooh help from a friend we end up getting uh, 100 bucks for mickey's mouse shop i actually sold this a while back if you guys don't remember and it pieces of it broke like those little watches broke off but we end up getting, I relisted it. We ended up getting 120 bucks for that one. This one right here, Mickey's Cottage, we ended up getting $120 for this one. Scrooge McDuck's County House, we got 100 bucks for. And then both of these, Mickey's Ice Cream Shop, we get 170 bucks for. And then Minnie's Diner, we get $170 for. Yeah, that's only eight of them. I still have nine more orders to pull on this. I'm gonna have to ship it in multiple boxes. I did message the buyer, let them know. Everything came out to $2,044. Crazy insane sale. If you guys do see Department 56 Disney stuff, pick it up. Department 56, especially if it's theme stuff. On my uh, Pickin' and Punchin' channel, I actually made a video about the top 10 best-selling Christmas villages. This is what the video looks like. Um, there'll be a link down in the description for you guys if you guys wanna go watch it. Christmas Vacation has one, The Grinch has one. There's, a, there's multiple theme ones out there that could bring really good money. Christmas Story, I've sold all those in the past. The Simpsons have, have one that sells really well. That's actually not Department 56. That's, um, I think, Hawthorne. Yeah, one, one of those companies. But like Hawthorne, Department 56, Bradford Exchange. If you guys, Danbury, May, if you guys see any of that stuff when it has to do Christmas Villages, look it up because it could bring really good money. All right, next time we sold was a hat. Murray Brothers Caddyshack. I think I paid like buck for this we end up getting ten dollars plus shipping all right so i sold another slot card over here in uh, drawer number two the orange one i think this is it 
This is an Elden from 1967. Uh, Elden is another brand to look out for, guys. We had this listed for, I think, $69.99. Set an offer for 55 bucks and the buyer accepted. So 55 bucks plus shipping. We sold a couple more graded items and one of these breaks my heart to sell, to be honest with you. Let's start with the one that doesn't break my heart. This one right here, this is a Flash comic book from 1959. It is a 2.5 off-white. There wasn't, oh, look at the back of this. Joe Lewis and Mickey Mantle. I mean, look at the top of this. The top of this is just jacked up. It's not, it's not a major key book. There wasn't a lot listed on eBay or comps for this. It's hard to find comps on books from the 50s. I end up listing this, I think, for $229.99 or best offer. I went back and forth with a buyer, and I think we ended up settling at $189.99 plus shipping. I bought, I used to buy a lot of comic book mystery boxes. This is around like during the, like the pandemic time because they were fun and that was really popular on YouTube about people opening mystery boxes. I ended up hitting the grand prize. This is the grand prize one. I don't know if I spent 50 bucks or 100 bucks on it. I got a bunch of comic books as well and this was an added bonus. So ironically, we, I was just talking about Mickey Mando there on the back of that comic book and this is the one that kind of breaks my heart to, to sell this. This is a 1968 Mickey Mano card from Tops. This is graded by SGC as a 3.5. I mean, the car presents very well. I mean, I, I really dig this black tuxedo looking case. I mean, you can see the centering's off in this car really bad. Corners are a little around, but overall, I mean, presents pretty well. Paid 650 bucks for all these sports cars at the garage sale. Had it listed for $299. A buyer sent me, was kind of go back and forth. Buyer sent me an offer. There's someone who's been a big supporter of this channel. Uh, David, thank you so much for this purchase. Normally I wouldn't sell for 255 bucks, but he's bought a lot of graded stuff for me in the past. Decided that since it was him, we'll cut him a deal and so for $255 plus shipping. And it breaks my heart because that's my last Mickey Mantle card. It's my dad's favorite player growing up and he always talks about how he wishes, got some Mickey Mantle cards back in the day. I do collect stuff and I'm trying to collect less and less because I, I have a sickness, <laughs> I like to say where once I start collecting something, I need to collect it all. So I try to cut back on what I'm collecting and I'm trying to get to the point to where I'm just collecting items that have a special meaning to me. That Mickey Mantle was super cool. I could have listed super high and just held on to it for a while, but I'm in the business right now of flipping items to support my family. I don't have any emotional connection to this. So I decided to let it go. Next time we sold, this one's really cool. This I picked this up at the local auction house. I think I paid 10 or 15 bucks for the entire box and I made an absolute killing on it. This is a Little Mermaid gift set. It has like the little watches in here. It has sneaker snappers. This is actually from 1991. I had a really hard time pricing this. One sold for like a hundred bucks, 125 bucks as a one-off sale. I couldn't find any other really good sales on it. And I had three of these. So I priced it at $99, best offer. I mean, an offer for 40 bucks. I had this up for months. I had no offers on it. So I just took it because I already have two other ones. And so I got 40 bucks plus shipping on this. Sold a PS4 controller. This came from, I don't know, a big purchase a long time ago. I had this in my store for a while. I had it listed for $24.99, sent an offer for 20 bucks and the buyer accepted. So. Got 20 bucks plus shipping on that. Here's some more of the uh, Department 56 pieces that we sold. Mickey's Christmas list, Mickey's Christmas spirit, Mickey catching some air, Mickey builds a snowman, Freehouse stay over, and Mickey approves. There's Willow sleeping in blue sleeping. So Batman the Animated Series, uh, there's a set of four. Picked those up from a private pick. Paid, I think, 10 bucks for the four DVDs. Had this for 30 bucks. I think someone sent me an offer for 25 and we accepted, so we got 25 bucks plus shipping on that. Sold this graphic novel for Batman for $8.99 plus shipping. Had these buckled jeans listed. These are women's jeans. Had it listed for $34.99. Someone sent me an offer for $25 bucks and we took that. But yeah, I think that's it for now, man. I got two, I got so much stuff to do. It's already 12.42 and I got to package all these items up, get to the post office. Still gonna edit my, my picking video for Friday and then start preparing to go on this road trip tomorrow. Thank you so much for your support on this channel. We hit 2000 subs and that's a big thanks to each and every one of you guys. So make sure you do like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Until next time, guys, make sure you guys keep flipping and punching.